I was watching an introduction video to Music 21 on YouTube and I came across this comment from Marco Ula. In the comment, they say, hello, this is very good introduction format. When will you upload more videos? That's asking the other person. Make sure I'm recording. Yes, I am. I wasn't earlier today. That was unfortunate. Anyway, Marco goes on. I'm mostly interested in opening .midi files and modify it. For example, change every C1 to D1 or coding rules for velocity. Well, Marku, let me show you how to do that. Let's go into live and record a short piano snippet. My tempo was a little questionable there, but I can just quantize it. I just made up a melody where I might want to change all of the D notes to C notes. Scratch that and reverse it, where I might want to change all the C notes to D notes. So the way to do that is export MIDI clip, one grand piano seven, that'll name will work for now. And I go into Finder, and on my desktop we have one grand piano one, oops, one grand piano seven. Let's just call it grand piano dot MIDI dot mid actually and now let's go into the code and the way to do this is import music 21 I've actually seen the pattern of from music 21 import star but I don't like that because it can crowd the namespace if you're importing from multiple libraries so I'm not going to do it that way we, we load a MIDI file MIDI file equals converter dot parse grand piano dot mid. Um, oops, no, I don't want to run it here. Sorry, terminal, go away. Uh, I just said I'm not going to import star, so, so I need to say music 21. 21 dot converter dot parse grand piano dot MIDI. Next for note in midi file dot flat dot notes we say that if note dot name equals c and note dot octave equals four then note dot name equals d finally write to midi file MIDI file dot write with the write type being MIDI and the output file let's call it grand piano edit dot MID and let's add a comment up here change C to D or to D4 now let's run this Python file Very good. And we can go back to live, then go to finder, and take grand piano edit and place it here. Let's play this. Do you hear how the notes are different? Interestingly, I have to shorten the MIDI window, or the loop window, I guess I should say. So that's the first part of their question. Let's move on to the second part, coding rules for velocity. Let's say that we want, we're going to start again, because I'm going to say for I comma note, in MIDI file dot flat dot notes um, make velocity increase gradually and I need to enumerate this enumerate is a trick in Python 
what's it complaining about here? Oh, pass. This enumerate is a trick in Python where instead of just taking the items out of MIDI file to flat dot notes, we take the item and the index. So um, I'm going to want velocity equals, we don't want it to go to zero, so 1 plus 127 times, and the length equals MIDI file dot flat dot notes, length function on that. 127 times i over length. There we go. Uh, one, let's do it 1 plus 120 just so we don't overflow on the top end. So now the velocity should start lower and then ramp up. Let's test if I did that right. Go and run main.py. Now go to Finder and Live and oops, Live and back to Finder. And Grand Piano Edit is going to go in here. And did I mess it up again? Oh no. That I, I made the same mistake I made before. Oh no, I just didn't even try it. I didn't even attempt note.volume dot velocity equals velocity. It's a little confusing maybe that we have velocity here as a attribute of volume of which is a vol attribute of note and here vol velocity is just a local variable. So just so you keep track that those are separate things. Now we have to go back and python main.py we want live and we want finder to take grand piano edit and place it in here and look at that beautiful ramp up of the velocities. That's pretty nice. Okay. Thanks for watching and thank you Marku for the question. Until next time, bye.